Josh, we're here at Bristol City's training grounds uh, a week ahead of um, the Turkey uh, camp and obviously looking ahead to Greece and Gibraltar. You've had an incredible season with Burnley. What has it been like? Yeah, it's been good. Um, yeah, probably couldn't have asked for it to, to go much better, to be honest. Um, so obviously making a move back from Belgium, um, from Anderlecht to Burnley and at the first time of asking, um, get promoted to the Premier League as it was obviously the main objective for, for the club at the start of the season so to do that and, and um, play a lot of games and, and enjoy my football it's been, been a really good season. Well play a lot of games is probably an understatement you came, became a, the key part of the squad almost and obviously won some awards at the end of it what does that mean to you to get the recognition like that at the end of the season? Yeah it's always nice I mean you, you put a lot of hard work in over the season a lot of sacrifices and um, yeah, you train every day to be able to to perform um, on a Saturday or, or whenever the game may be. So um, to get the recognition from obviously the fans and and your fellow teammates and professionals um, was really nice. Um, yeah, yeah, nice honour for me. So yeah, it was a good way to to end um, a fantastic season for the club. It wasn't just the only awards you've won in this calendar year, of course. Reflecting back, uh, you won the 2022 Player of the Year for ourselves, of course, an international. Player of the year. What did that mean to you to win that award? Yeah, it was it was absolutely amazing to be honest with you. Um, a huge honour for me, my family, um, to go along alongside some some legends of the game and legends of Irish football um, on that list of have previously won the award is is amazing. A bit surreal um, having sort of come into the squad regularly for for only the past couple of years, I suppose. So yeah, to to get that recognition was was fantastic. Um, but yes, it's all about pushing on, kicking on now, and um, and trying to trying to do something special with this team. And obviously, you've came through the system, of course. You had an extensive under twenty one um, career before you came up to the island. You've you've been around the system so long now. What does it mean to have seen yourself progress to this level where you're now a key part of the island setup? Yeah, being an I mean, island player, full stop, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, when you're uh, you're sort of in the underage groups and you're you're on camps and and you're you're away with the lads and, and you know everyone's ambition at the end of the road is to, to try and get in the senior squad. Um, so yeah, to, to be able to do that and, and make the breakthrough was was obviously a, a massive ambition of mine um, and I'm delighted that I've, I've been able to do that. But I think, um, as some senior players have said to me, it's, it's not just about getting there, it's, it's once you get there, being able to stay there, being able to perform um, well on a, on a consistent basis and never take for granted whenever you get to pull on this shirt in training or, or in games. So, um, yeah, it's, it's always a challenge trying to stay in the squad. We've got a lot of talented players, young players coming through. So, um, yeah, for me to, to get into the, the senior squad and, and make the appearances I've had, I've had was a dream come true. But like I said, there's a lot more goals for us as a group and, and me personally to achieve in this shirt. And um, yeah, that's what we're pushing to do. I suppose it must mean a lot to to your family as well, of course, obviously rooted here in, in Ireland. It must mean a, and a lot when the, your family see you become so successful at this level. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, as people know, um, my Irish heritage comes through my dad's side. Um, granddad's from, from Manor Hamilton in, in Leitrim and, and Nan was from um, Black Lion in, in County Cavan. So, um, unfortunately, they've, they've passed away now and, and don't get to see me um, play in, in in the games and, and pull on the shirt, but, but I'm sure they're watching from above and I know it, it would make them extremely proud and, and it makes all my family that are obviously still here to see the games extremely proud as well. So, yeah, I think as players, when, when we pull on the shirt, we're not only um, representing ourselves, but we're representing our family and our friends. And I think we always have to keep that in mind that we're, we're representing the whole country as well and all the fan base. So, um, yeah, everyone, in my family is proud and um, yeah, it was, a, it was a nice achievement for myself. Looking more recently, of course, one of the proud moments, I suppose, was seeing that Aviva Stadium fall for that France game, an incredible atmosphere before the game and probably narrowly missed out on a result we all deserved. What, what, have, have you had time to reflect on that now and what was the feelings around that? Yeah, I think it was obviously disappointment because we go into every game wanting to win the game. Um, so yeah, to come away having given a, a good account of ourselves and their keeper making um, two fantastic saves right at the death um, to, to 
probably deny us the, the result that we probably probably deserved on the day. Um, a point would have been fair, I, I thought. Um, so yeah, obviously natural disappointment coming coming away from the game initially. But now we've had time to reflect. I think we can take positives that we we played against a, a team that's um, just narrowly lost the World Cup final, um, and we run them really close. And um, we know that if we can keep those standards and keep building throughout the campaign, then we can give ourselves a great chance of, of qualifying. Well, the next game, of course, is going to be a tough test in, in Athens, in Greece. But how exciting is it for the group to be able to, to look forward to tests like these? Away in Greece, you know, it's, 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 it's such a, a great tie. Yeah, 100%. And um, I think we're, we're really preparing right for this type of game as well. Um, the lads have, have made the sacrifice to meet up um, in Bristol um, for four days to, to make sure that we keep ourselves ticking over before we... We then travel to Turkey for, for 10 days or so to prepare for Greece. So, um, yeah, we know it's a huge game. It's a huge window for us. Um, six points is the target, and, and that's what we have to, have to aim for. And um, if we want to qualify, then, then that's probably what we need. So, um, yes, it's full focus now on, on the two upcoming games. And it starts with a, a tough one in Greece, like you said, um, in the middle of the summer. It's going to be, be tough conditions and a, and a tough game. but. Like I said, we're, we're preparing well and, and we're looking forward to the game and confident we can, we can go and get a result. And finally, of course, what we saw in that, that France home game is the belief, the support really seems to have in this group of players, really uh, roared on the team in the final stages. It looks like the ticket sales have already gone up to 42,000 for Gibraltar match as well. How important has that support been uh, so far? Yeah, it's not possible without the support of our fans. Um, home and away, they, they back us unbelievably well. Um, and yeah... Through, through the tough moments, they they spur us on and obviously again push us on when, when things are going well and uh, and give us that extra percentage. So um, yeah, to have them support us the way they have over the last few years um, has been been fantastic. Like I said, through the tough times, we've always been there and and hopefully we can can reward them now by by qualifying for a, a major tournament in the in the not too distant future.